Hi guys, welcome to another video and welcome to another bags video. Um, I know that you love when I show you bags on my videos and today I decided to collect a couple of bags that are designer bags and they just take you through my tiny collection. I am not going to take you through each bag and show you um, what I've got in it because right now I am not using any of these bags. Um, so this is not a what's in my bag video, but I wanted to share with you my small collection of designer bags. I want to be honest, I do love dupes, fake, I don't know how to call them, designer bags. I do have quite some of them. Um, they are not expensive like the authentic one. And by the way, whenever I showed you these bags in my videos, I always made it clear that they are dupes. So I don't want anyone to think that I have authentic bags when in reality they are not. But here, this is my small collection of authentic designer bags. Um, I have Ted Baker, which is this one here and that one over there. And I also have another one, which I am currently using and it is full of stuff. So I did not include it in this video, um, but it's very, very similar to this one here. Um, I have Guess and I think I have three from Guess. And I have this one here, which is still in its uh, original uh, bag, dust bag, which is a Valentino by Mario handbag. And I have showed you that in another video, I think a year ago. I don't have a lot because they are expensive. I would like and really, really wish to be able to purchase a never full GM from Louis Vuitton, but currently um, I have other financial priorities, I must say, and I cannot afford that. Um, so I am making my dupe working quite a lot until I will be able to purchase the authentic one. Anyways, let's go and show you each bag. The first one here, which is uh, this one from Ted Baker, and I have purchased this one online together with the other Ted Baker bags that I have um, is sort of a shopper bag, as you can see there. Um, there is also the label down there, you can see it. Um, it's a shopping bag, basically. It's very, very sturdy. And honestly, even though I love the print and Ted Baker has various prints for these types of bags, this is the large size of these bags. They come, I think, in a smaller size for sure, but I'm not sure whether there are another two sizes apart from the large one. Um, if you go to Ted Baker website, there is all the guidelines over there. Um, I like this bag and it really um, is very spacious as you can see. However, the plastic that it is made of is very, very sturdy. And as you can see, the handles just once they take, um, the shape, they remain like that. And it is not easy to carry it when it is filled up with stuff. So it becomes a little bit, um, I can say heavy, um, and it is not easy to carry it. Um, I have used it for work a couple of times, but I had to change it because the bag in itself was um, hard on my hands. I don't know whether I, making sense for you to understand in what I am saying, but it is not an easy bag. I think that once it gets filled up with stuff, it becomes a bit hard, or at least that is the way I felt um, for this bag. As I said, um, it is very beautiful. Um, I have chosen my favorite um, color which is the pink one there are various colors also and designs and from time to time ted baker does um, come out with various other designs and they update their designs and colors but even though i like this bag the shape etc i found it a little bit difficult to carry it around on a daily basis because i tend to have quite a lot of stuff to carry with me every single day so let's just place it a little bit aside. Um, here I have a dust bag and I have one of my favorite bags um, in it. This is from Guess. It is a tote bag, which is very, very extremely, 
similar to the never full um gm from louis vuitton and whenever i miss that type of bag this is the one i go for it is from guess i did purchase it online two years ago from ebay um it came from the uk and i was so so happy um about this bag as i said i like it a lot and it basically has filled up sort of my ambition to get the louis vuitton never full gm besides its dupe so if you want something like the louis vuitton never full gm and you cannot afford that um i would say just to go for this type of bag because it's extremely almost the same as it um and even the lining inside as you can see it's very beautiful it's very spacious let me show you it's huge and it fits me and quite a lot of space remains after i have placed everything in it it has this beautiful blue white and black lining but there are uh there is another design for the lining of the inside of the bag um i don't remember exactly the colors but i know that there is also another design when i purchased this one that design was not available, those colors, and I had to just get this one here, but I'm still very, very happy with it. I have traveled with this bag quite a lot, and I have used it for work on a daily basis, and it's still like brand new, even though I had to carry a lot of stuff. Most of the time um, when I have a bag, usually it doesn't give me a lot, a lot of time of usage because I do have a lot of stuff in my bags on a daily basis and the first place that they start to um, get damaged is the handles somewhere in these areas. This bag is magnificent because nothing of that happened and I was very very happy with it. To be honest with you, I was also thinking about getting another one with a different lining for the inside and maybe if it's available another color from Guess of the same bag because I'm very happy with it. It comes also with this pouch inside of it that as you can see it is also very spacious and aligned the same as the bag. And again, it does resemble a never full GM from Louis Vuitton. So if you are looking for something like that bag and you do not want to spend so much as the Louis Vuitton bag, go for this one from Guess. It's amazing, I can assure you. And it comes in a dust bag like this, which is put the Guess name over there. Now, let me just show you another one from a guess, and it's this one here. Um, let me just move a bit the Valentino by Mario bag over and show you better this one here. Again, it came in this dust bag. I purchased it from the local gas shop together with that one over there. This is sort of a smaller bag from the ones that I usually use, but it's a very, very beautiful bag. I fell in love with it the moment I saw it on the shelf in the shop and I was practically very confused whether to get it or not because I use a lot of large bags but then I decided that I was going to gift myself with another beautiful beautiful bag let me show you the bag um, it is very well capped to be honest because I was so so afraid to damage it and I usually keep all my designer authentic bags in their original dust bags this is the beautiful bag in pink i think it is sort of a vintage rose it is called the color it's a very spacious small bag but it's not obviously good for me for a daily basis but rather for the weekend and i did use it for the weekend um, as you can see there are quite a lot of compartments there is a zip over their compartment there is this back one there is another one in the middle let me show you better 
another one in the middle, and then a front one with various other um, pockets here, one here, another one, and another one. So if you don't have all the stuff that I usually carry with me, which is quite a lot, I think it can fit you perfectly. And then there is also this pocket here, which is very, very cute. You can use it for, I don't know, hand sanitizers at the moment or keys or coins you can use it for some stuff that you need to grab immediately so it's a very beautiful bag as i said already and it is in pink which is my favorite favorite color now let's move on to the last three bags that i have prepared and this one here is a bag that you have seen in another video it's the Valentino by Mario handbag and I fell in love last summer with this bag because it had some beautiful features in it specifically the design is amazing let me focus a bit so I can show you better as you can see the flowers over there it's sort of a nude color so it can be used both i think in summer and in winter although the flowers give you the idea of summer more than winter but it is also a spacious bag it closes with two snaps as you can see there and i did purchase also something else with it which is the matching wallet and it's very beautiful too. Let me just open it. It comes with gold hardware and it's very spacious too. There are so many areas for cards as you can see and there's a lot over there. Um, these uh, bag, this bag and the wallet, I got them in a discounted price. Um, and I believe that there was, uh, I think, sky blue, probably, of the same bag. But I really loved it. And they also had the tote bags of the same design. But since I do have quite a lot of tote bags, I decided to get this one. It is spacious and it comes with another strap here. And as you can see, there's quite a lot where to place all your stuff in it. And it has also this zip pouch that you can basically put quite a lot of other stuff in it. Um, this bag did not fit me for a daily use, but I did use it a little bit for the weekends and did not yet get into the wallet. I was a little bit afraid to use it, to be honest, because when I do have products that I really, really love, um, there is sort of a little bit of being afraid of using them, so I don't damage them, but obviously I really need to be using them. The only reason why this bag and the one before from Gaz, um, I did not use them a lot, is because of the size, because if I could uh, use them for the daily to go to work etc i would be uh, using them much much more frequently than the others now i do have another one which you have seen and what's in my bag and i have used this bag quite a lot this is from ted baker the design is amazing it is wonderful um again it is very similar to the Never Full GM from Louis Vuitton and also to the other one from Gaz that I have just showed you. Um, it's a very beautiful bag. It's very good quality. I have used it a lot and you can see how much I have used it from this area here. It comes under the arm and as you can see it got a little bit damaged but for the rest, um, thinking that I have used it so much, as you can see, even on this side, um, I think that it's a very good quality bag. And it was not that much pricey. I got it from Ted Baker website and it comes with this pouch over here, which is also attached to the bag. As you can see, the pouch is the same design as the bag and it is also quite spacious. Um, it has rose gold hardware very very beautiful and i think that nowadays because i got this last year or two years ago 
I don't know exactly. It is a very, very summery bag. Um, even though, yes, I did use it during winter. Um, it has the Ted Baker um, written over here. And yes, it's a very good bag again. Um, I hope that I will be able to use it um, quite a lot more. And probably on Ted Baker's website, there's quite other designs also and colors for this type of bag, hopefully. Now, going to the last bag that I wanted to share with you. Let me just get it. This one here is from Guess. And this is a bag that I have used only once because um, it's very beautiful too. I tried to use it for work but I did not manage. Again, it's too small for my daily necessities. I know that I keep repeating the same reasons, but it's basically one reason. And I don't know, that's how I decide whether a bag is good or not. But this is a very beautiful bag that can be used for the weekend too, or for any uh, specific beautiful occasion that you may have. And here it is. Um, I think that this resembles a Louis Vuitton bag also. I don't know the name of it, but um, when I saw it the first time in the shop, I thought um, that it was sort of a lookalike of the Louis Vuitton bag of some years ago. I think I had seen that bag uh, seven or eight years ago, probably. Um, and this is why I wanted to get this bag because it resembled it. And I remember falling in love with that shape back then. So this bag is actually a very beautiful one. And even um, the texture of it, the design and the color is beautiful. Um, can I call it sort of a champagne golden type of bag and color? Can it be? Um, it's, it's very golden and I liked it also for the color. It's also very spacious as you can see and it came with a strap that I have never used because what happened when I have used it um, was that I decided to uh, use it with the straps like this and I did not use the straps that uh, can basically make it into a shoulder bag and the straps can be attached um, with these D-rings over here. There's one over here and there's also one in the front. It comes also with this beautiful sort of chain with it, decorative chain here, and it has an inside pouch which closes with a zip and there are another three pouches at the front. One, two and three. It's a beautiful bag and I kept it um, mostly for special occasions. I did not want to use it that much for daily um, needs and for work. I tried to just to see whether I fit in it, but I prefer to leave it for um, special occasions. So I think that I have showed you all the authentic bags that I have, the authentic designer bags that I have. Um, I don't have any more because authentic bags are quite expensive, but if I get to have more, I will do videos on them. But in the meantime, this is my small collection. I know that a lot of people out there do have more expensive um, authentic bags. They do have Chanel or Louis Vuitton or other bags. But um, the most important thing is that you are happy with what you have. So if you do have just one bag or other bags and you are happy and satisfied with them, um, go for it. Don't worry about what you see on videos. In my case, this is what I could afford and always, always follow your heart and do what uh, fits you and what makes you feel good at the end of the day. So I hope that you have liked this video and until the next one, take care, bye.